Welcome back to another Pro Guys video. Today, we're gonna be discussing five tips pros don't want you to know about Fortnite. Yeah, we're gonna get real today. Playing Fortnite competitively or even in generally at a high level is extremely difficult. We all know that. So many factors come into playing, including your motivation. Yeah, that's right. Your mindset, you know, ability to learn from your mistakes and so much more. That's why in this video, we're gonna be going over five things that you can do to advance your game and play like the pros do. Come on now. If you're excited about that, make some noise. If you're watching this video, you're trying to get better at Fortnite, right? If that's the case, head on down to ProGuys.com, not now, but like after the video, where we offer weekly up-to-date courses from pros like Mongrel, Benji, and Kaz, along with meta articles and videos to keep you guys updated on what's happening in the Fortnite scene. On top of all of that, we also offer 24-7 on-demand coaching from the, some of the best players in the game. So if you're looking to get better at Fortnite, you gotta check out ProGuides.com. Finally, one last thing before we get into this video, which I'm so pumped about. Let's do the question of the day. Today's question is, who is your favorite pro player and what do you like about them? Personally, I like watching Kanata, especially during Cash Cups. This guy is just so consistent and there's just a lot to learn from him. What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm back to inspire you to not only be great in this game, but also in life. I believe in you. Hey, pick up your head because you can do this. Whatever difficult task or challenge that is coming up ahead, just understand that when you get through it, you're going to be a better person. That's how we grow. We grow through opposition. We grow through challenges challenges guys so keep it up if you're going through anything know that you're growing you're getting better connect with me on my new insta at your motivation guy now it's time to sit back relax and get my favorite candy it's that bunch of crunch let's get this going fighting against or even playing with better players man it is one of the fastest and simplest ways to improve in fortnite Let's be real. Can I be real? If you're pretty good at the game and you just decide to just stump on your friends and creative or pub stump all day long, you're not going to be improving very much, if improving at all. Playing against players better than you, now that's going to change the whole game, man. Whether it's in creative or in game, that's going to benefit you guys a ton. Let's discuss like how to actually find good players to play against. We recommend hopping into the T1 scrims discord if you're on an NA East or your respective scrim servers if you don't play East. From there, simply post in any looking for group chat that you're looking for someone to 1v1 box fight or build fight. We recommend doing whichever one you're worst at so you can improve more in less time. The biggest benefit of playing against better players is that they're gonna perform at a higher level and do different techniques and strategies than an average player wouldn't. You can even ask them questions if you want, like how they even do the moves. Playing against players that are better than you guys is one of the easiest and most effective ways to improve as a player, and we highly recommend doing it, as opposed to just messing around and just fighting against players that you can easily beat. Like, what is that gonna do for you? Nothing. The second trick pros use to play at a high level is they never lose motivation. Yep, I just said it, my favorite word. No, that's not my favorite word, that's my second favorite word. But it is motivation. You're probably wondering, all right, how does your motivation make you a better player? Well, I'm here to tell you because I'm your motivation guy. That's what I'm here to do. Let's look at the big picture. Sure, in one or two days, lack of motivation is not gonna hurt you. But in the long term, man, lack of motivation is gonna result in you practicing less. You're gonna focus less, and you're gonna have less drive to improve and reach your maximum potential. Come on now, you know I'm right. Your motivation is like one of the most overlooked factors for just that reason. Let me ask you this question. Would Buga have won the World Cup if he gave up, lost his focus, you know, blew off practice and all of that? Of course not. In fact, you know, he probably would have been at the bottom of the leaderboard. You probably would have never heard of him. This all leads to one thing, guys. Never give up. I'm gonna say that again. Never ever give up no matter how hard it may get if you feel like you're not improving like it's not worth it just don't give up please don't give up you can do this all right pro players spent months man some of them have spent even years practicing and grinding to get that chance to go pro it takes time but if you can believe in yourself i'm telling you man it's gonna pay off never lose your motivation never forget what you're working towards okay you know, another thing that ties in a bit in motivation is tilt. <laughs> tilt is any time you get super angry at something in game, whether it's purely bad luck, getting mad at yourself, or anything along those lines, all right? And just letting it impact you in your next few games. Tilt is something that you definitely want to avoid, and it is definitely avoided simply by remembering what you're working towards and just keeping up that motivation, all right? 
Alongside this, talking to other people with a positive mindset is super important as having constant negative surroundings is going to reflect heavily on how you feel and how you think. Okay, so Kenneth explains Tilt extremely well on this clip from this World Cup video on the 100 Thieves channel. So let's take a look. The meta for the World Cup, I'd say it's just not tilting because that is the downfall for everyone. Like when you get tilted, that's when it ends. Warming up correctly and effectively, oh my goodness, it's one of the most overlooked aspects of competitive play. If you're hopping on in 10 minutes before a tournament and just like quickly run through an edit course or free build a tiny bit, it's likely that you're gonna be performing way below how you could be performing. Warming up, guys, is way more important than you actually believe. A high quality, longer warm up will absolutely pay dividends, especially in competitive play. If you're not warmed up, you're not gonna be in the correct mindset when you're playing. You're not gonna be able to build or edit as well, and your aim is gonna be off, man. I guarantee you that. Everything is gonna be completely out of whack. So we recommend finding that sweet spot, you know what I mean, of having a good warm up and being ready to play, but also not being completely bored or burnt out because you've been playing too long. The most optimal time to warm up, guys, is about 45 minutes to an hour. This warm up should consist of some building drills, editing drills, and some aim maps, whether they're in Fortnite Creative or Kovacs Aim Trainer. You can also play a pub match or two, dropping hot and playing for kills. So we also recommend a warm-up routine to help you guys better prepare for your competitive games. Let's discuss that real quick, all right? Your aim is the first thing you should warm up. As soon as you hop on, we recommend 10 to 15 minutes of click timing and target switching drills on Kovacs for mouse and keyboard players, or just any creative aim map for people who play on a different platform or can't afford it. If you're on Kovacs, all right, we recommend these four scenarios. Pat target switch, tile frenzy 180, vertical switching, and six tile jumble frenzy. Second, spend a few minutes free building and including some editing as well, all right? This is gonna give you guys builds and edits up to speed, and it shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Focus on practicing, you know, some new, difficult techniques that you can just improve during your warm up. Once your builds and edits are on point, we're gonna move on to the next step, 1v1s. Okay, so the final part of your warm up should be 1v1s. You can find someone to 1v1 in any scrim discord like Atlantis or T1, or just find a friend. We recommend a fair mix of build battles and box fights, about, you know, 10 to 15 minutes of each, depending on how much time you have, all right? This is gonna warm up all your mechanics and it's gonna give you some good practice as well. This warm up routine shouldn't take you more than 45 minutes to an hour, and it's gonna put you guys well on track to some good games. This might actually be the most important part of improving at Fortnite, Accepting, guys, and learning from your mistakes is a trait almost every top pro has. And it honestly it is the main reason they're so good. There's no secret formula to being amazing at Fortnite. It's simply playing against good players and learning from every mistake you make. Think about this, man. If you learn from and correct every mistake you make over and over again, like what's gonna happen? Eventually, you're gonna make so many few mistakes as possible that you're gonna be so amazing at the game. So this comes in two steps, accepting that you lost, and then learning from your mistake. First, here's what I wanna do. I wanna talk about accepting your mistake. Instead of just thinking of a death as a loss, think of it as a win. Every time you lose, think of it as a win because you're gonna be able to look back on it and learn. That's what really matters in the long run. And I need to emphasize this, okay? Never blame RNG. If you're in shambles going in late game, all right? Instead of getting mad and blaming your bad loot, figure out why is this happening? You're not gonna be consistently losing the bad RNG or bad luck unless you're doing something wrong. Sure, you know, once in a while, you're gonna get sniped from 200 meters away. <laughs> and that player's gonna get lucky, whoever that guy is. And it sucks, I know. But some things can be done about that. You know what I mean? Like paying closer attention to your surroundings and jumping and strafing to avoid snipes. However, you know, there are some things that you simply can't avoid. Like if you get pushed in storm or get horrible loot from a building and just pushed in early game. At that point, simply understand that it didn't go your way, but understand that the next game, yo, it's gonna get better. If it happens consistently, however, then something is definitely going wrong. Now that we've gone over how to accept your mistakes, we need to learn from them. It's easy to say, darn, I lost, but it's another fight to actually learn from the mistake. Yes, I just said that word again, dar. Actually, my favorite word. We recommend either recording all your games and rewatching them later, analyzing every choice that you make, and seeing if you could have done better, or doing the same thing through replay mode. Both tools are really great, and we recommend using both methods to experience the benefits of both. Okay, so look at every single thing you do, right? Could you have done this edit better? Did you land at a bad part of your POI? Did you rotate too late? Did you let a fight take too long? 
analyze every little thing about the game, all right? And focus on correcting your mistakes. All right, so let's check out a clip from Booga, the World Cup champion himself, where he talks about VOD reviewing and learning from your mistakes. I started VOD reviewing, like, all the way before World Cup. I VOD reviewed, like, every day. I watched so many other players and souls, watched so many things about people, understood the game so much more, went creative, went pubs and shit, like, figured out how zones play, like, analyzed my rotates, so it like every situation I put myself in, I just try to learn from it. Like before that, I was kind of just playing the game half-ass and just like playing and just uh, something stupid happens. I'm just like, all right, whatever. But like I started analyzing every single mistake that happened, started fixing every one of them, and then I did insane in World Cup. So you've done everything on this list. You have high motivation now because you're listening to your motivation guy. You know what I mean? You know all the newest tricks to outplay other good players. You have a great warm up and you avoid tilt and learn from every single mistake, right? But you're still not improving. What's going on? You know, the only remaining solution is equipment. The last thing <laughs> that can truly hold you back is poor hardware. If you're playing on a TV screen at 60 FPS on console, it's the simple truth, guys, that your skill ceiling is much lower than someone on 240 hertz with great peripherals. We're not saying, all right, just go and buy a super fancy setup with 240 hertz, because that's not always realistic. I get it. Trust me. If you can and you're dedicated enough, then go ahead. But there are easier, more budget friendly ways to go about it as well. And I know many of you guys are not even old enough to work yet. First off, better equipment is expensive and you have to be ready to spend if you're taking this route. We recommend looking around for low priced PCs somewhere like Amazon where you could find some PCs around $500 to $600 that can get consistent frame rates and good quality. As for peripherals, okay, we've covered them in a few other videos. Check out any of these videos out to learn more about some good prized peripherals. So let's do a quick recap of everything we talked about in this video. You guys ready? Here we go. First, learning advanced techniques to outplay good players is absolutely crucial, as simply outplaying them by building or editing faster is super difficult to do. Second, keeping your motivation. Everybody say motivation. Yes. To practice and improve is one of the most overlooked aspects of Fortnite. It can be mentally draining, but you need to remember, guys, what you're working for. Motivation. Having a proper warm-up routine is something that you need to keep this in mind, as going into a tournament or a high-level game without being warmed up is a recipe for disaster. Fourth, accepting your mistakes and learning from them is the number one factor that separates good players from the pros. You know, analyzing your gameplay and find every mistake that you make and figure out how to avoid the same mistake in the future. Finally, you know, if you're still struggling after all of this, it's a good idea to upgrade some of your equipment as having better equipment is going to increase your skill ceiling and likely make you better. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. The one and only Keith Allen just want to let you know that I believe in you. I am your number one fan. I'm rooting for you, cheering for you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. Come on now, we're doing life together. Make sure to connect with me on my new Insta at your motivation guy. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to use code ProGuys in the Fortnite item shop where you can make any sort of purchases as it just really helps us out and we really, really do appreciate it, okay? Comment down below what you guys thought about this video and what you'd like to see next on the channel because we really aim to bring you guys the best daily Fortnite content. So do us a favor by liking this video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love for bringing you this video. Thanks for watching again, and we'll see you next time.